Hello and welcome to NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. I'm Russell Nimitz. Thanks for joining us. You know, job one for cattlemen and cattle women is protecting the health of their animals. But one of the costly threats to the health and performance of cattle is unseen and often undetected. Internal parasites can rob an animal of its health and deliver a hard hit to an operation's bottom line. So today, we're going to focus on this critical issue and talk about some of the tactics and weapons that producers can use in the fight against parasites. Joining me now is a great panel of experts. We have Dr. Tom Van Dyke with Large Animal Veterinary Services for Mariel, based in Virginia. Tom, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Well, thanks, Russell. Glad to be here, first of all. Uh, before Mariel, I am Veterinary Services with Mariel. Before Mariel, I was in private veterinary practice back in Virginia for 30 years. And also back home, I have a cow-calf herd and run a few stalker steers. And I just want to thank my girls, my wife Ellen and uh, daughter Lillian, for taking care of that fence malfunction yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're happy to have you here. Also with us is Dr. Tony Morvetz with Large Animal Veterinary Services from Mariel out in Nebraska. And Tony, share a little bit about yourself, please. Thank you for having us, Russell. Uh, I'm uh, born and raised in East Central Nebraska on a beef and grain operation. I went to University of Nebraska for undergrad, K-State to vet school, and then was in practice a few years in Illinois, Nebraska, and have since moved on working with animal health companies from Tennessee to Oregon. Now I'm back in Nebraska with my wife, Erica, and five kids, Wyatt, Macy, Levi, Nate and Quinn. Uh, yeah, I think that's all five, but uh, they hold the fort down while I'm away and I'll be home soon. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks for being with us. And also joining us in the discussion today is Justin Robbins, a cow-calf producer from Iowa. And like the others, Justin, thanks for being with us. And talk a little bit about your family and, and your operation back home. And again, thank you for having me, Russell. And I'd like to thank Marielle for for inviting me to have this opportunity. Uh, we run a, a cow-calf operation back home uh, with my, my wife, Lacey, and my son, McKinley. Uh, we have a, a, a row crop operation as well, and we just try to keep the American cattle industry moving forward. Well, again, gentlemen, thanks for being with us on Cattlemen to Cattlemen. We got a big item up for discussion, um, internal parasites, and it's a, big, it's a big issue for the U.S. beef cattle industry. Tom, let's start with you and, and maybe explain why it's important for producers to have a, a solid deworming program as part of their operation. Well, Russell, you kind of named it in your introduction. Uh, parasites rob the best performance of our cattle. They interfere with production. They interfere with feed efficiency. They interfere with growth and just overall health of the cattle. So cattlemen have a big investment both in their cattle and resources and by deworming and taking care of the parasites, it's a, it, it helps re get a better return on their investment. You know, Tony, when we're talking about internal parasites and, and just how costly it can be for an operation, you know, talk about that economic impact, if you will, please. Well, the, the, the good folks at Iowa State did a study looking at that impact on the investment of deworming cattle, and you, you can yield a return of up to $201 per head. Um, and that factors in the nutritional, reproductive, and, and other efficiencies that you can gain on. So do we see regional variations in the threat and the economic cost of these parasites? Uh, yes and no. Parasites are a threat everywhere that you have cattle. Where there are cattle, where there's dirt, there are worms. And so uh, the degree of, of threat is going to change from, from place to place geogra geographically. You know, Justin, as a producer yourself, I mean, explain for folks at home, you know, how these internal parasites can affect operations like yours back in the Midwest. In the Midwest, my cattle compete for corn country, so I have to make every acre count. And to make that happen, we have to be very conscientious of the dollars that we spend in certain places, and parasite control is paramount. Hey, we know you guys are busy out there on your farms and ranches, and, and oftentimes there's probably bigger things, to, bigger fires to put out, if you will. but. Do you think producers are taking this issue of internal parasites as serious as they should be? I don't. I do not believe that, that uh, producers really look at the overall picture. They're just looking at, at the pennies when there's actually dollars on the table that they need to be getting the return on. So Tom, let me ask you this. Um, what do producers need to understand about parasites and, and their life cycle? 
Well, Russell, to be able to combat parasites or worms, we really need to know their life cycle. We need to go where they live and know what their weaknesses are. So just to start with the adult worm. The adult worm lives in the digestive tract of the animal. That adult worm lays eggs. The eggs pass in the manure onto the pasture. The, the eggs then hatch to infective larvae, which climb up on grass blades and wait to be grazed, taken in as the next cow passes and grazes. And so when that uh, larva gets in, back inside the cow, it matures to an adult again, the whole cycle starts again. Um, it's also important to note that we think, we talked about them being on grass, but if, if the fall comes, cold weather comes, these, these larvae can go to the ground and they go down into the soil and wait out a very cold winter. And then when the spring warmth hits the, the ground again, the grass grows, they're right back up onto the, to the grass in the spring, ready to be infected again, effective again. Yeah, that leads me into my next question for Tony. I mean, what type of effect do these parasites have on the pasture, which is the bread and butter of these farms and ranches. Well, as you go through the summer grazing period, you get a significant buildup of parasites on the pasture and a high degree of infectivity results. And even when it gets really hot, those parasites have a way of surviving that. They'll go into the ground, and then when it cools off in the fall, they'll reemerge just like they do in the spring. Very good. Stay with us. We're going to continue this discussion, but first we have a video segment that provides some insight on how parasite control can improve your bottom line. Let's take a look. Parasite control is one of the most important herd management decisions you make each season. Parasites can negatively impact the immune system and reduce appetite and nutritional efficiency. This leads to reduced weaning weights, lower conception rates, altered carcass composition, and decreased milk production. And that can have a significant impact on your operation's bottom line. In fact, according to a study by Iowa State, parasite control can make a difference of as much as $201 per head in break-even costs. This includes improved reproduction and earlier calving. The problem with conventional dewormers is that they only last a short time, requiring multiple treatments for season-long control. There's never been a product that controlled parasites all season long in a single convenient dose. Until now. Long Range is the first extended release injection for parasite control. Thanks to its unique Theraphase technology, the product is released into the bloodstream over an extended period of time, so a single treatment with long range controls parasites for up to 100 to 150 days. That means that with one spring treatment, you get the benefit of multiple strategically timed treatments throughout the grazing season, but without the additional stress and labor caused by repeated applications. By controlling parasites all season long, Long Range can help you get more profit out of your pasture. More efficient average daily gains, early calving, and earlier weight gains are all possible with better parasite control. In studies, calves treated with Long Range gained an average of more than 10% of their baseline body weight versus control calves. In separate studies, cattle gained 10 to 90 pounds more than control cattle. And in trials of animals with sarcoptic mange, cattle treated with long range gained 9 to 55 pounds more. Plus, with long range, you get all these performance benefits with less labor, less stress, and without the shrink caused by multiple handlings. Of all the animal health practices used to increase production, treating beef cattle for parasites gives producers the greatest economic return. And only Long Range gives you 100 to 150 days of parasite protection with one easy to administer injection of 1 milliliter per 110 pounds of body weight. To get the same level of control with conventional dewormers, you'd need three or more applications. When you add up the product costs, labor, handling stress, and shrink, one dose of Long Range makes a lot of economic sense. It's all the body condition, reproduction, and weaning weight benefits of a strategic deworming program in a single spring treatment. And that's what makes Long Range worth the investment. You have lots to gain. Talk to your Marielle sales representative or veterinarian. Visit thelongrangelook.com for prescribing information 
or call 1-888-637-4251 to learn more. Do not treat within 48 days of slaughter, not for use in female dairy cattle 20 months of age or older, including dry dairy cows, or in veal calves. Post-injection site damage such as granulomas and necrosis can occur. These reactions have disappeared without treatment.